Have you any time wondered on how exactly you need to prepare for Christ University interview and micro presentation? Or have you any time wondered of getting misleading information from other particular sources of YouTube and Google and which is striking away with your preparation? If yes, then this video is for you guys. Why do I say this? Very simple. Me being an interview consultant, me being trainer, who have been trained more than 600 plus students, I have gathered with you all the important topics which you need to keep in your mind while preparing for your interview as well as for micro presentation. The important essential aspect of previous ECA questions. So all the materials, all the content which I'll be speaking over here will be based on the analysis of Christ's previous ECA interview based questions. And recently, the students who have been undergone interview, you know, all that side of important topics, I'll also be sharing it to you only as a form of a giveaway after you guys watched till the end of the video because that giveaway is hidden in each one of the clips in this particular video. So if you guys are not that patient enough to watch the video till the end, you can also use the clips. But if you want the giveaways, you have to watch the video till the end in a proper essence, only then you'll find the proper giveaway. And uh, the major important aspect which I was highlighting over here is that, you know, previous ECA questions, important topics and the current affairs related stuff. So all the important trending current affairs, Joby Hena, that also I'll be discussing over here. Totally fine. And even for your micro presentation, which topics you need to focus, which topics you no need to focus, that also I'll be giving it to you guys. And how you need to prepare all that will be condensed if I like a capsule, I'll be giving it to you. But make sure that you watch the video till the end. It's very important. Now, why do I say this, guys? Just not to promote my channel or other basis. Nothing like that. I do not have any kind of intention on that basis. But, you know, I hope I got more than 70 plus replies on the students asking how exactly you need to prepare, how exactly, what not mistakes we're not supposed to. So on that count, I'm making this video. And recently I made a CUET video, decoding CUET video that was very famous. It became really viral and um, students literally didn't leave me out. So as part of it, I'm just making this video. Hope this video is going to truly help you out. And along with that, so recently I was even invited to give a talk for Christ PU College Cus students, okay? So who are these Christ PU College students? So inside Christ University, there are two colleges. One is Christ Junior College, Christ PU College. So Christ PU College, I have even given multiple training sessions for students on how they need to prepare for interview, CUT ka preparation, as well as in terms of their micro presentation. On that materials, also I'll be sharing it to you guys. But only small request is that just watch everything properly in this video. That's the only my genuine request. Because at any particular aspect, you know, you're feeling doubt or something like that. It will still create you much chaos. But any doubt is that you can just let me know in the comment box. Only after watching the video till the end. Because I'll also be coming up live as possible and trying to help you guys. So now let's get started without any form of delay. So guys, in your Christ interview, you know, you have to focus mainly on five important aspects. Okay, which are those five important aspects? I'll just tell it to you very clearly. Make sure that you have a paper and pen next to you. And this is going to be a, like a roadmap. So on this roadmap, only you're going to prepare. See, still now, if you've not watched any videos of mine in my YouTube channel, koi baat nahi. But what I'm going to tell now, note it down. That's more than enough. First one is called as common interview-based questions. Okay? It's called as common interview-based questions. Write it down. Second part, the category of questions which you can get is called as campus-based questions. I repeat, campus-based questions. Third category is called as course related questions. What is it called? Course related questions. And fourth important category is called as subject related questions. I repeat once again, subject related questions. And fifth one, that's called as current affairs. And last, obviously, we'll be discussing in terms of micro presentation. So now what we will do, we'll be going in much depth on all of these five concepts in a very deep analysis. And I'll tell you what are the questions they'll be asking from each of these segments. So now let's start with this common interview based questions. So regardless whether you have been applying for Christ, Jane, St. Joseph, Harvard, regardless of whichever college you're applying, okay, these common interview based questions are going to be same for all kind of colleges. It's very simple. So now first important aspect, first important type of question which they can ask you from common interview based question that is called as self introduction. So self introduction, very structured self introduction is very important. Do not worry about the pura scripting okay i myself have made a very good scripting for you guys i have dropped a link below in the description box for self introduction just go through it once and prepare your self introduction according to that format please don't prepare self introduction on the spot that is the biggest mistake you know it is very easy to identify as an interview see when i myself have been observed students you know who is preparing self introduction on the spot or when they are not having much clarity on what to speak in their initial first impression is the best impression that you can understand right so in that initial impression only if they are not able to speak very effectively then trust me trust me which interview will be really liking it so that's the reason i genuinely have made a very good script on it ek bar refer karo 
एक बार रेफर करो यू नो नो टू पे एनी मनी एन ऑल फॉर दिस एन ऑल फॉर सेल्फ इंट्रक्शन जस्ट वॉच इट दैट्स वन सेकेंड इफ यू हव मेड अ सेल्फ इंट्रक्शन फाइन नाउ जस्ट जस्ट क्रॉस चेक विद इट आई मेड अ वेरी गुड फॉर्म एंड दट विल श्योर हेल्प यू नाउ सेकेंड कैटेगरी ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन कॉमन इंटरव्यू बेस्ड क्वेश्चन इट्स कॉल एस टेल मी अबाउट योर स्ट्रेंथ एंड वीकनेस सी सी गाइज लिसन वेरी केयरफुल वेन अवर यूर टेलिंग अबाउट योर स्ट्रेंथ एंड वीकनेस स्ट्रेंथ दो स्ट्रेंथ बताओ वीकनेस यू कैन टेल अबाउट टू वीकनेस आई गिव एन एग्जाम्पल ओके I'll tell you one more thing. Very secret to tip is that whenever you're telling your strength, you know, tell where I've exactly you've applied for it. I'll give you an example. So my first important strength is that I have very good leadership skills. Why do I say this? Because I was a CSA head in uh, Christ uh, Christ PU College, where I've organized multiple events and fest, and I've proved my leadership there. Deka, how impressive it is. Now second thing, so my second important strength is about you know I'm very much confident. I myself have taken up this confidence step in next ulterior level where I have been participating to different MUNs and cultural program and I have secured second place and first prize for the district level public speaking competition. आपने देखा? See now, whenever you are telling your strength, no, it should not be like normal strength. Sir, my strength is like I like uh, leadership. I like conf- I am very confident. See, now you have to ask yourself why should I select you instead of other person? Whenever you are telling your strength, tell in such a way that where exactly you have applied your strength. that will make you unique comparing to other 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 students see i normally give the same example for many students okay it's like if i'm asking you colgate versus dabur which one will you choose obviously you'll choose colgate why because their branding is very important similar way when you are going for a interview you have to brand yourself only then interviews will be really impressed by you or else they'll be like okay fine he's also like an other candidate but similar way now next is about weakness When somebody is asking you weakness, especially an interviewer is asking you in terms of weakness, you can tell two weakness and tell on how exactly you're trying to overcome it. Now, the biggest problem is that when the question is asked strength versus weakness, some people will answer only strength; they'll forget a weakness. Uh, recently, I was having an interview with uh, uh, Varshil, uh, Varshil, and he forgot the weakness itself. I said, "That's no, that's not the good thing." See, interview is basically reflection of your personality. Whatever it is, it is just reflection of your personality. I being an interviewer, I'll be going very deep inside your world. and then i'll try to see what are your defects and where are your improvements on that basis your selection is done got it so remember listen very carefully whenever a question is asked now coming back to weakness very simple guys tell two weakness and tell on how you're trying to overcome it i'll give an example okay so my first weakness is that i overthink a lot but how to o- to stop overthinking i constantly do meditation this is how i try to overcome my weakness very simple the second important weakness is that sir i am very detail oriented person i take much time for completing a particular task but however to overcome it i try to keep a fixed proper time table in which i try to complete my short term targets and later i even try to complete my long term targets for a daily basis or a weekly basis apne dekha whenever you tell your weakness don't tell that sir i am very sleepy quality eh uh, no that's not a good thing okay sleeping i am very sleep very well or uh, i do not i am very shy those things and all it's not really required okay tell in such a weak weakness that me being an interview no i'll be not able to cross question you aise batao yaar do not just tell in the for the sake of telling make your answer really unique comparing to others that's the main reason i feel so much uh, irritated and annoyed no your answer should be really crisp and very beautiful now the third important type of question which you can expect from common interview based question that is called as i already said about self introduction your strength and weakness third category is one of the most important where do you see yourself 3 years from now or 5 years from now so aapka degree 3 years ka course hai for example if you've chosen bba it's only just 3 year, years ka course or if you've chosen bba llb ba llb honors then it's 5 years ka course so if an interview they're asking you where do you see yourself 3 years or 5 years from now you can tell that sir 3 years from now i do see myself who have been equipped with all kind of skills and aptitude from the course which has been uh, provided by your particular esteemed university and i also i'm opening up for different kind of job opportunities in which i'm willing to play a very effective role in the corporate field if you're working in corporate field you can tell that or if you're preparing in other bases you can change the slang of the answer do not just by heart my answer yaar by heart mat karo yaar that's not good suno sabki aur karo khud ki okay that's what my mentor kanishka takur has said it so very simple suno sabki aur karo khud ki now whatever i'm telling don't ask the same by heart and tell it but tell in such a way your own naturality manner so 3 years is something don't tell us a 3 years from now i'm going to become the ceo of that company this company bullshit as an interviewer we'll be like negative marking you to be honest we will never be impressed by that answer okay as a, a person who have been taken multiple interview session for the students especially mock interview session for students you know uh, 
I never entertain such kind of things because I literally give negative marking. Never do that. Never, ever, 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 ever do that. Very simple. Now, when I go to the next part of question under the common interview based question is that what are your career goals? What are your career goals? So guys, very simple. What exactly you want to become? That you need to tell. Okay. For example, my, sir, my, my career goal is to become an entrepreneur. So my short term targets are basically to complete so and so things. And my long term target is to build so and so things. That also you can tell. Or if your career goal is that, sir, my main major career goal is to become an IAS officer. So how I started my preparation at a very younger stage itself. Or I'll be starting my preparation in the initial days itself in which uh, by the end of my uh, third year, I'll be able to become, I can prepare for the competitive exams like UPSC and I can become an IAS officer. So something, jo bhi answers batate hai na, thoda crisp laga wo and be very on to the point and be very sharp. As being an interviewer, we'll be so much impressed by you guys. Got it. Now, fifth important type of question which you can expect from common interview based question that is called as tell me about your leadership skills. I've already explained this, but when if they are asking as an interviewer, no, what you can tell that, so my um, I have been the leader, I have been the leader for so and so competition and I've been completed so and so things that you can mention it, but give your own personal touch over there. Ek story bhi bata do. Story means itna zyada big story nahi. I'm not asking like a three hours ka long movie story. Wo mat bata de yaar. Interviewers have other work also. Uh, but uh, for your knowledge, what I can tell is that, you know, tell some short, short story. Short story, I, for example, if I myself give an example, no? So I when I was a CSA head for Christ Pew College where I had organized uh, a so-and-so event, a social welfare program, in which it was one of the most challenging tasks for me to manage the Pura 150 members group uh, group team. So however, I have taken up my own leadership skills of creating sub subordinate heads under each particular team. And then I had a regular review meeting with them. And I made sure that, you know, there was effective team management skills functioning throughout the group. By this, I have proved my leadership. So guys, whenever you tell your answer, no, aise bata do, like how you can impress others. Got it. Uh, tell in such a way that you know, interviews will be really happy by you. So this is the major important aspect of common interview based questions. Prepare karo properly, write it down in a book and constantly practice karo. Okay. Any one question from here will surely come. I bet you. At least self introduction at least will come. That's natural that you also know. I also know better than you. But prepare karo. Very important. So guys, now the most second important, important part of your pura interview that's called as campus based questions that is like it's within the campus what are the kind of questions you'll be getting it okay first one is about sir why should we select you they can ask you okay why should we select you and how will you contribute you can get the second part of the question first part is about why should we select you you can tell that sir i feel that you should select me because i have the right amount of aptitude and the skill set that you're looking for and i am sure that you know i'll may 100 percentage make sure that as soon as i join the college i'll be doing very well in terms of my academics and extracurricular activities and i'll also be participating for different kind of events and competition and doing my level best and i'll also be trying to uplift name and fame of the college at the all my level best in best possible manner as such you should select me but see confidence in josh me bata do you'll be so much impressed interviews will be like so happy because of you uh, they should create an impact that okay aise bacha na it's like uh, uh, one among the hundred it should be in that way and how will you contribute to something similar way you can tell it guys and third part is that they might uh, christ favorite question that is called as tell me about uska vision mission and core values bata do very important learn about christ vision mission core values go to their website and learn at least it is one of the most famous question asked from years and i genuinely like if you please learn how much of a time i'm telling you still students are not ready to buy hearted vision mission core values Please learn Karo. Very important. Okay. Now, fourth important part of question they can ask you is about, you know, it's like, do you have any questions for me? When do they ask this? They ask this question at the last of the interview, not at first. Okay. They ask the question as last. At that point of time, do not tell that, sir, I do not have any question. Or do not ask like, sir, uh, mera interview kaisa tha? That's not the way on how you want to do it. It's literally bullshit. What you can tell that, you know, ask something regarding the course. So that as an interviewer, you know, why we are asking this question is because very simple it's basically to check on how much research you've done about that particular kind of college got it so now if you've not done research very easily will catch you out okay that's the reason you can ask something about sir could you tell me what are the placement opportunities available for the students uh, after the end of after the end of third year that if you want you can ask or you can tell me sir what are the credit programs available something on it or you can ask about some particular cultural committee ka bare mein. so you can tell that sir as i'm interested more in terms of sports so do you think that there are, like, could you also tell me, are there any committees in terms of sports 
uh, welfare uh, welfare committee where even i can indulge so something regarding that also you can ask okay this is for do you have any questions for us that time you can use this and guys a uh, fifth important part of question you know they might ask you about do you know which are the different kind of uh, student welfare organization bodies or you know other particular bodies in terms of uh, the social service initiative body or cultural committee in charge body something from christ if they asking you from that perspective you are supposed to tell about csa csa is called as center for social action okay what is it called center for social action what do we do here they try to you know create and do many kind of social service uh, awareness awareness projects these people do they have different kind of wings under it okay it's like uh, udan uh, like different kind of wings under it but for the time being you just tell that it's a social service body where it also provides sponsorship for children you can tell about that they also try to create an awareness for example in terms of substance abuse drug abuse creating an awareness on this one they have e parivartana unit it's like recycling uh, bin unit they also try to create an awareness and they are even have e parivartana that also you can tell it a uh, parivartana unit it's like you know all the answer sheet and all in the christ or whatever papers and all is there no the people uh, recycle it on that base itself and then uh, most of those answer sheet what they are writing for exams also they use it okay apart from it coming back to our own topic i hope you got the fifth important aspect of what are the christ doing it now guys now sixth important question under campus based question is that very simple listen very carefully have you applied to other college what did you tell yes sir i have applied to other college very good you can tell it but you have to tell in a very simple way you can tell it yes sir i have applied to other college but however my major priority is christ if you're telling the no sir not apply to other college being an interview they'll feel that okay just imagine if you're not selecting you what do you do kya karega chalega you'll be waiting for one more year interviews will cross question that i've seen in uh, in, uh, in our own mock panel interview you know when i was taking a session for students also i asked the same question see if you don't uh, select, will you be waiting one more long year they have literally blank answers this also happened in the real interview uska student mera student ka naam tha bhuvan okay so in her her pehla interview you know she also said the same thing she got many backfiring questions but the best answer what you can tell is that no yes sir i have applied to other college but however my major priority is christ university now for example the interview should be a little more tricky okay they'll ask you harvard versus christ kya select karega christ obviously naturally will understand harvard versus christ if they asking you harvard will you will tell it or for example symbiosis versus christ which one will you be selecting or i'll, I'll give you one more example okay national law university bangalore versus christ which one will you be selecting obviously everyone will be telling you nlu bangalore itself why do people tell it it's very simple because that has little more a uh, prestigious reason but how are you going to tell in your answer i'll tell it okay so nlu versus uh, nlu bangalore versus christ you can tell it say so i will be opting for nlu bangalore uh, bangalore itself because i feel that um it has little more uh, name in terms of it and i feel that surely this particular um, college can also help me a lot but i'm not telling the christ this i'm not defaming christ at any point of time but yes it has its own values but i'll also be looking in terms of more opportunities on other bases uh, but however this is the ba- a balanced way do not tell that christ did not have that kind of brand value and all just don't tell that sir comparing uh, comparing to uh, uh, rakshant okay i just had an interview with him he just said that sir uh, uh symbiosis mein zyada brand value hai isliye i'll be going there however christ doesn't have that kind of brand value that time i'll be opting only for symbiosis there he got so much backfiring questions so you should be very cautious enough of not telling that it doesn't have that brand value comparing to others right christ is one of the top institution in india one of the top institutions in india so you have to frame your answer in a very condolences and a very crisp and good manner samjha aapko i hope you got a clear about uh, the pura campus interview based question so guys my next important type of questions which you need to prepare from course related type of questions that's called as course interview based questions or course related based of interview questions how you need to prepare i'll tell in very simple format okay so now for course related questions you know what you guys need to do select whichever course you're selecting for example it could be bba bba llb honors uh, bachelor of hotel management or it could be uh, msc whichever course exactly you're trying to learn it go to their website first go to their website very simple christ ka website learn all the objectives and what is the mission of that particular kind of course or what are the subjects taught by that particular course for example if if it's a uh, blb honors what are they teaching what are the subjects on it learn on it in a very clarity manner why do i say this the first question you can expect from this particular domain is about they can ask about tell me uh, why have you opted for blb honors So you have to justify that, sir. I have opted for B A L L B honors because I want to become a lawyer, 
and I feel that you know one of the most important uh, field how I can serve serve my society is about being a great lawyer. And I also in, in terms of interest more in terms of laws and legalities and functionality of democracy in our country. So this was my major interest taste from a very young age. That's the reason I'm opted for law. So similar way you can modify this answer based on your own crux of of it, but take it from your own course plan, not course plan. I mean like your own website me sari information milega. Usi se sab kuch lekar frame a very good answer. Why can't you not do it? You will be able to do it, right? In a very simple answer, I challenge you that you will be able to literally ace it out. Okay. Now, second kind of question which you can expect from course related is about, no, what are the subjects to be teach in this particular course? वो भी research करो. Dhruv था. Dhruv, no, Dhruv and Amarnath. मेरा मेरे उन students था. These people forgot to check the uh, this one. What do we call the pura uh, courses which they will be teaching in Christ? They literally forgot. So. they got back firing questions on that basis but you guys should never repeat that mistake at least learn at least 5 to 6 subjects what they teach in that it will be literally helping you out third thing see guys if you are applying for b uh, ba bba course and all koi baat nahi cut copy paste it put it in google and type what are the interview kind of questions for bba that's it very simple you will find a list of parallel related questions just don't type anyone So guys, just continuing quickly recapping you guys what we just discussed now. It's about mainly about uh, just type that particular course in Google. You'll find many kind of parallel related questions. Very simple. Just type BBA interview related questions. You know, you'll find ten to twelve, fifteen questions from different kind of websites. वो भी आप लोगों के लिए refer कर सकते हैं. You can refer it. See guys, I will tell you few important sub questions which you need to prepare for your course related questions. Okay, first one is that for example, if you opted for uh, BBA, BBA itself, example. Okay. Now, what is the scope of BBA in the near future? One question they can ask. Second kind of question is about you know what are the job opportunities available for the students or for for you people after you complete BBA. Second kind of question they can get BBA for people like uh, you are opting for BBA LLB means you can also do tell that. For example, people who have been opting for BA any course they might ask you what is the job opportunities available for BA CEP ka course. Uh, after this, what is the job opportunities you'll be getting? Third thing is about, uh, for example, for BBA students, I'm just giving example of uh, BBA ka students itself. Okay, now for example, they can ask you, what are the important amount of essence you'll be trying to get from this particular course, especially in the corporate field. For example, if you're trying to become an entrepreneur in so and so company, how this particular kind of course can help you? What is the knowledge you're going to derive from this course? How it can help you in a long term basis? Fourth base question they can ask you, or fifth base is about you know based on your career. If your goal is basically to become an entrepreneur, if you want to become an IAS officer, and for example you have opted for BA LLB honors, how this particular course is going to help you to become an IAS officer? Those kind of questions they can still ask you. So these are called as course related kind of questions for your interview. So next important type of questions which you can expect from your interview that is called as subject related questions. What is it? very simple it's like from your 11th and 12th what all you have study you might be getting questions for example if you opted for bba and in your 11th and 12th you have opted for commerce learn properly your accountancy business studies very important and if you have economics please do even learn that because you can be getting different kind of questions see guys uh, as i said no in the giveaway in the giveaways you will find the previous year ka questions i won't tell when giveaway is given uh, it will be in the upcoming clips but be careful about it so uh, be very careful in your 11th and 12th mein jo bhi have studied the basics be very strong into it i suggest you one more thing okay it's like in your uh, first and second pu mein you have question bank right accountancy or question bank or in karnataka that they call it as puc pre university college i think so pre university college regardless फर्स्ट पी यू एंड सेकेंड पी यू सी का क्वेश्चन बैंक मिलते हैं लर्न द वन मार्कर्स एंड टू मार्कर्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट गाइज प्लीज डू लर्न इट विदाउट लर्निंग आई डोंट एडवाइज यू गाइज गोइ टू गोइंग टू इंटरव्यू इट सेल्फ बट इन द प्रीवियस ईयर का क्वेश्चन यू नो विच आई माई सेल्फ हैव बीन आस्ट मोर देन दैट ऑलमोस्ट सेवेंटी प्लस एटी प्लस का स्टूडेंट यू नो इन दैट जनरल इंटरव्यू में मेजोरिटी ऑफ द क्वेश्चन वॉज फ्रॉम एक्चुअली फ्रॉम लेवेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ ग्रेड वो भी फोकस करो इट इज गोइंग टू ट्रूली हेल्प यू गाइज and uh, question bank one markers and two markers especially of what and all field for example if you are from arts field itself and you are applying for ba ka course itself at least the core important subject ka one markers two markers know it it will be helping you a lot especially for bba bcom related any kind of particular field it could be international finance honors generals bcom bcom honors bcom professions for you both 
accountancy business ka one marks two marks learn karo properly because in interview they'll ask like uh, tell me which is your favorite subject usi subject mein tumhe parallel questions will be getting it okay parallel questions will be getting it so you should be very prepared but uh, sometime interviews can directly ask me in business for example what is marketing mix what is product mix tell me and if you have the 14 principles of management so those kind of parallel question they can ask you if you are in economics they can ask you what is marginal cost what is marginal utility these kind of question they can ask you who is the father of economics um, if it's accountancy they can ask you three golden principles of accounting if you have chosen literature they can ask you tell me three famous uh, what uh, three famous uh, people who has been contributed effectively in the field of english uh, it could be william shakespeare what is his famous writings those kind of questions you need to prepare one markers and two markers it's going to literally help you out help you a lot i challenge you guys on that basis uh, please do focus on your subject related questions never neglect your 11th and 12th ka part it's very important especially when you observe the previous year ka question you yourself will be shocked aise bhi questions hote hai kya you you guys will question me back exactly i'm telling you to you so be very cautioned while preparing for your 11th and 12th because subject related question mein 11th and 12th is the king please do not neglect it okay very especially for the people like accountancy business economics um even in terms of for example if you have been opted for bsc and all your own physics chemistry biology your own subjects and for example the arts related people know your humanities subject political science subject usi related mein you will get zyada questions i hope now i have cleared your subject related kind of questions so guys there's a bonus tip for you guys for those of you who have been taken a, a gap year i have i got this multiple questions from the student okay sir i've taken a one gap year last year and then i have prepared once again for the cuet in interview time if they are asking you is gap time mein aapne kya kiya at that point of time what you can tell no in this gap year i'll give you a simple answer okay very simple think carefully before you guys are going to tell it out okay if it's a gap year you can tell it so in this my gap year i i was preparing for different kind of competitive exams i also uh, worked in terms of developing my overall skills it could be in terms of public speaking skills and other external skills i also started uh, enrolling for different kind of courses and started to get a basic experience in different arenas if you have done an internship that also you can tell it fill that gap year with something what you have done in a very positive way so that you know interview should not be feeling that you know this banda has not done anything it's like he literally wasted one year sitting and playing in the house jolly jolly <laughs> during covid time wo bhi nahi feeling honi nahi chahiye so be very careful in that one year ka gap what exactly you have done add something like so i have learned additional kind of courses i have done so and so internships i have participated for so and so competition i have been reworked on my skills along with my preparation for competitive exam something this also you guys can surely tell for your gap year ka excuse me. next important bonus tip for you guys is about author related questions they can ask you tell me uh, if you are a very good if you tell that you know you are reading uh, qualities or reading skills as your hobbies they can ask you the questions like tell me uh, the famous tell me any any book which you have read and tell me what are your learnings in life whenever they are asking you about the authors or if they are asking you tell me any three famous entrepreneurs in india three famous journalists in india three famous lawyers in india or uh, and they are telling it to you you have supposed to know the facts very well uh, for example if you are opting for bba bcom any related course know about entrepreneurs ka naam and what are their major learnings which basically inspired in your life for example it could be ratan tata uske life mein aapko kya message hai is it hard work if it's hard work how it is implied in your life i'll give an example okay for example i am influenced by ranveer alawadia uh, in which he has thought about importance of meditation and calmness i try to imply this in my life and i can see a very positive impact while talking to people also i'm so much relaxed and very calm and doing all my daily tasks you got it so whenever you're telling in terms of facts related ka questions or author related ka question they can tell you about name name any three famous uh, prime ministers in india and what are your learnings from any of those prime ministers so you can tell jawahar lal nehru narendra modi uh, atal bihari vajpayee and one of their learnings from it that also you can learn it be very cautioned about this it's very important it could be authors or facts mean tell just don't tell like one line so i've learned hard work silent that's not the thing you should tell it where exactly it has applied in your life that is when you can really create an impact in your interview So guys this is my third bonus tip for you guys those of you have got less marks for 10th grade and 11th grade how exactly you need to answer for example if the interviewer is telling see oh very bad in your 10th you got this much marks what why was it or in your 11th you got so less marks why was it so how exactly you need to answer be a little more smart over there okay don't tell that oh, so sorry ma'am so sorry ma'am you can be a little more smart while answering you can tell that so when i was in my 11th grade i didn't know how to balance my academics and extracurricular activities 
as such you know i was not able to balance both but however when i came to my 12th grade i learned the art of balancing both my academics and extracurricular activities so i've been after that learning you know i've taken that art of learning and today in my pre boards also i've been secured very well marks uh, i've secured for example 80 plus 80 plus in my pre boards and i'm hard working very well and ma'am i'm truly assure you that in my 12th grade uh, uh, 12th grade ka results mein i'll be surely getting distinction of first class something impressed by that particular kind of way this is how you need to fill in case if your 11th and 12th ka marks okay nahi hai all right guys so now first we discussed about a uh, common interview based questions campus based questions course related kind of questions and subject related kind of questions but fifth part that is called general knowledge i kept this part little late why because i want to speak in terms of bonus tips so in terms of general knowledge no guys uh, whenever you see your interview no, the best time to start is from the month of january january february march and upcoming at least till your uh, 10 to 12 days before your interview ka jo bhi month hai usi ka interview until that particular you know try to know all the hot important hot topics and trending topics i'm speaking only in terms of uh, interview for cut i made a super long video and i'm glad that that video has been literally like viral and only because of that video i hope you guys are liking even this video i'll be dropping that cut ka video ka link below in the description box in case if you're preparing for cut it can surely help you out but how about how about coming back to our own story we discussed that you know it's like for example how exactly you need to prepare in terms of current affairs current affairs start from january it is going to surely help you out and along with that uh, learn which are the most hot trending topics for example presently it is hijab controversial issues or uh, russia and ukraine ka issue now if there is any kind of new topic it could be about covid 19 impacts on something so each month you know some kind of trending topics would be there and you should know what exactly to it because being an interview no early morning we will read newspaper and come so that day ka news also if you just know or, or at least that present hot trending ka news if you know also that's more than enough i'll do one thing in the description box in the description box i'll be attaching a link for you go through it guys i have been provided all the important kind of current affairs for just for you guys just go through all the important kind of current affairs especially vision ka materials hai vision january uh, january ka current affairs and vision ias ka it's a vision ias is a very good source and uh, wajiram ka institution ka ias ka current affairs wo bhi i've just put in the link in the description box if you guys want uh, go through it see this is not a paid video okay not paid sponsorship only if it is a paid video you will find it in the video itself it's nothing like that I, these people are not giving me anything but uh, for competitive exams like ias and all many students refer it iske liye i am also advising to it it's a long pdf just go through it if you feel at least the basics of it very strong i think that will have surely help you for your interview okay so by uh, by juice uh, by wajiram uh, as well as for your this one you know vision ias ka materials have just provided just go through it it will surely help you out and byju's news about uh, byju's ias you know this video is not sponsored by byju's obviously they do not better work uh, so yeah so byju's ias ka hindu analysis this which not days you cannot read hindu newspaper at least byju's ias ka hindu analysis listen karo every day that will surely help you guys got it uh, i hope it's clear for you and uh, at least go through hindu newspaper especially editorial part must hai current affairs ke liye if you guys are able to follow this on a regular basis na no? trust me your interview level is like here 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 you will reach so this is how you need to prepare for your pura current affairs current affairs all the hot trending topics even you can learn about ministers very important topic uh, in the pdf ka link you know which i'll be just dropping out below itself in that same document if you go no in multiple folders one of the folders you'll find a uh, what do we call previous year ka question that current affairs and all if you observe you will find some static questions some not static question you will get little more clarity i'm not telling you only to refer that just for your understanding what i am using for my own interview which i have collected from my students for sharing it especially for the college guys pu college ka students i have given to them then i thought okay why don't i give it to you guys also so you guys can also refer it koi baat nahi but ek baat dekh lo and surely it can help you out and this uh, this is the one of the small tip for you do not uh, download that particular document of current affairs because every day i'll be updating if you download no you will uh, later you not even open it so that's the reason whenever you want open the screen and just use it and write it down in your book and uh, keep on learning that will surely help you a lot so current affairs is the king i know static gk it's like an ocean if you go deep you know you'll find there is one more world inside it but at least hot current affairs trending topic you should know that's more than enough so i feel according to me you know out of 100% 70 
60% to 70% they ask only current affairs hot topics which is happening but remaining percentage only they go in terms of static gk so if you are good in terms of current affairs no hot trending topics that will surely help you guys this is the biggest tip which you need to keep in your mind while preparing for current affairs how exactly you need to prepare for micro presentation see guys very simple okay micro presentation is like they'll give you a topic in which you're supposed to speak for 60 seconds to 90 seconds if they are giving your topic and if you do not know what you will tell you will try to blabber beating around the bush it will not work tell that sorry sir i am not aware about it can you please give me an other topic interviews will be very kind enough to give you another topic some interviews will be so kind that they will tell that you yourself select a topic which you are prepared of there are some interviews will give you other two topics and they will ask you to select it depends on whichever faculty members you are getting it uh but uh, my perception which i want to tell you is that you know select a very wise topic okay for example whichever topic is given you you are going to prepare a very good skeleton out of it how exactly you are going to do a skeleton see whenever you are writing an essay right you will write introduction body conclusion similar way for your interview there is a skeleton part for it especially for your micro presentation whenever any topic is given to you start with its introduction then go with its advantages then go with its disadvantages then go with your views then go with its solutions I'll repeat once again when any topic is given to you start with its normal introduction then its advantages then its disadvantages then your views then your solutions and then a conclusion this is how you exactly need to pre- present your pura micro presentation ka content and i i literally know that there are some topics no advantages uh, for example terrorism terrorism mein kya advantages hai bilkul bhi kuch bhi nahi you will not find it so those part skip the uh, advantages go directly to the disadvantages and aapka views bata do okay what is your views that is very important you know majority of the time people don't tell this out aapka views see it's like it will be like a normal newspaper reading right for example there are, i'll tell you one more thing okay see there are some teachers okay they'll be like sitting the book 1 2 3 4 5 6 they'll be reading only from that or they'll be reading from their only their ppts but where are there are some teachers they'll tell their own stories they'll tell some their, their own connection so that will be connecting like right? those kind of teachers will be feel so much heart connection similarly you will be completely focused and attentive so iske liye a small suggestion for you guys which you can apply is that guys please to make sure that you know in in your pura interview try to be little more natural and give your views your stories or your analysis based on it you can tell that so i strongly feel that this can be implemented so i strongly feel that this is something very bad but how what this needs to be done in a so and so way or uh, i strongly feel that i can uh, tell that so you should be in that pace and along with it you should have a balanced mindset okay neither go completely for it and neither go completely against it any topic if there is any kind of controversial issues i know i know you guys know which is very controversial issue which is happening now i don't want to tell it out so now for example whenever you telling it don't go completely against that controversial or neither go completely for it because your interviewer you do not know whether they are completely favoring it or against it so they will be having their own kind of bias right that's the reason be always balanced state of mind after telling its advantages disadvantages it says that you're not ba- you are balanced state of mind but when you're telling your views you know majority of the students try to go take a reverse stand so make sure that you tell your balanced view for example on that and then a uh, uh, a solution on how we can tackle it for example it's global warming global warming you'll not find that kind of advantages but yes uh, disadvantages and then what is your view what do you think why is it happening and uh, how we can uh, prevent it and solutions solutions bata do and what kind of treaties can be done what kind of conventions can be done a small conclusion de do it's more than enough this is how you need to present for your micro presentation so guys as a general tip for your micro presentation which i would like to give for you guys is that listen very carefully those of you who are not able to speak properly in your micro presentation a kaam karo take any random topic every day see the doc in the google doc which i have shared it for you guys no in the which will be finding in the description box take at least two topics every day go in front of the mirror and constantly practice i myself have given you 30 plus topics at least take one one topic every day understand properly go speak in front of the mirror very important point number 1 and second point number is called as use pointers while speaking see guys hamara human brain ka capacity you no know, it's like decreasing every day for example before long youtube videos tha and people were not able to watch it so that's the reason they kept time stamps at least obviously lazy people like you uh, at least for you people you know you'll just go focus on that basis now even youtube is introducing youtube shorts 
बिकॉज हमारा ह्यूमन कैपेसिटी इज डिक्रीजिंग एवरी डे इंस्टाग्राम आई जी टी वी था अभी क्या है रील्स था वाई बिकॉज अटेंशन स्पैन इज डिक्रीजिंग एवरी डे सो ट्राई टू ब्रिंग पॉइंटर्स वाइल गिविंग योर आंसर्स बिकॉज दैट विल श्योरली हेल्प यू अलॉट यूज पॉइंटर्स सो आई स्ट्रॉगली देर आर फील दैट देर आर थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट काइंड ऑफ सोल्यूशन विच वी कैन डू फॉर टैकलिंग अ टेररिज्म पॉइंट नंबर वन इंटरनेशनल ट्रीटीज विच कैन प्ले अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल फॉर Uh, every country is to come come together for a mutual consent point number 2 all the state should take step uh, legally to action or bring out new kind of legislation and laws to tackle such kind of problem point number 3 state level as well as from panchayat level a separate body should be brought into existence to check whether terrorism is happening within that rural areas as well as in that particular uh, urban areas whatever it is so based on it use pointers is the second important tip third tip is call less guys for your interview and micro presentation record your audio video and practice and make sure that you know you smile throughout the interview that's a fifth tip smile throughout the interview because that itself will show that you know you're very confident we're very confident and when i'm saying you quickly going back to your recording your audio video obviously when you're recording yourself smile and practice and uh, observe back after playback you know okay you feel that this is a mistake write it down in a book and try to make sure that you improve it on a regular basis it will surely help you out Now the fifth important kind of tip, or fifth or sixth, do meditation. Without doing meditation, please do not go for your interview, because you know your mind should be really calm and stable throughout the interview. And if you do not have that calm and stable mind, trust me, you will not be able to do perform very well in your interview. It's literally impossible. I you know whenever I take a mock interview for students, I literally make them to do meditation. First three minutes or four minutes, I spend for them in that base itself. Only then I will make I'll uh, start with their mock interview cases and all. So for you guys also as a general instruction is that please practice meditation. Without practice meditation, interview me, nahi jaao yar, because that itself you know will provide your confidence. Got it? And the fourth important tip which I want to share with you, you know, not fourth, I think four point one. Why? Because it's something similar to the fourth point, guys. Please do practice more mock interviews. Only by mock interviews, you know, your confidence will build up. It could be with your father, mother, cousin, someone, someone who's not very friendly with you. Obviously, these people are very friendly with you. Something a new person, you can even reach out to me, or with any person who can give you a proper solid feedback. Only then. From that, your confidence will build. It is not an overnight kind of thing. It is with regular practice only you will be able to gradually improve on it. So, guys, that's all for today. As a giveaway for you guys, listen very carefully. And below in the description box, you will be finding previous year's questions. A link. Usi link me. Uh, click in that link. You will find uh, previous year's questions, important topics of current affairs, important topics for your micro presentation. and which areas you need to focus little more and which are the questions they have been asked from previous years all that i have been collected over the years and which i will be uh, tested uh, testing in terms of the students ka pura process you know that i have been provided in the description box ek bar wo bhi dekh lo uh, and uh, first you guys learn then try to forward to other people because uh, i recently took session for christ view college ka students many people got benefited and i thought that you know knowledge is something which i have to hide and keep and i know that you know many institutions are waiting for such kind of questions to see and they also want to reproduce it i'm totally fine with them it's absolutely fine i really don't care until this particular materials is helping for you guys i'm so happy for it and uh, this is one of the biggest message i want to tell it to you guys please do practice karo jo bhi doubt hai wo bhi bata do i will surely come out and uh, clear all such doubts and all the current affairs important current affairs uh, micro presentation ka topics everything is there in the doc in the description box ka link mein please utilize it for your best it will really help you out throughout your process of your interview and at least every day with constant practice you know that will surely help you out guys and last small request is that guys i am also conducting a mock interview for students if you are interested if you genuinely want to improve and if you want to have a one to one session with me you can even uh, have a one to one session with me where i'll be properly analyzing you and it has literally i've trained more than 600 plus students and i'm not lying if you want you can also observe my previous year ka batch ka students if i was lying i would have been never shown you ka previous year ka questions itself right i'm not here for branding my channel and all but i'm telling it to you if you want to have one to one session with me you will find a link below in the description box let's catch up let's improve your pura interview ka process and trust me your scope of getting into the college will be much advanced your preparation will be boosted the confidence level will be boosted so that's all guys from my side let's catch up for the next video until then jai hind jai bharat namaste goodbye